ओके तो लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने ऑलरेडी फॉर्मूले डिस्कस किए थे तो आज के लेक्चर में हम न्यूमेरिकल्स उसके ऊपर देखेंगे यस दीज आर द फॉर्मूले फ्रॉम डिफ्रैक्शन एंड उसके पहले वाले स्क्रीन पे हमने इंटरफ्रेंस के फॉर्मूले देखे थे सभी ये सारे आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव लर्न ऑल दिस फॉर्मूले ओके एंड बाकी रिजोल्विंग पावर और रिजोल्विंग लिमिट ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन के जो है वो फॉर्मूले तो हमने ऑलरेडी लेटेस्ट ही किए हैं तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि फिर से रिपीट करने की जरूरत है बट फिर भी चलो जस्ट फॉर द नेम से विल जस्ट राइट डाउन ऑल द फॉर्मूले इन दैट सेक्शन आल्सो तो जैसा कि हमने देखा कि माइक्रोस्कोप के लिए लिमिट ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन के लिए क्या क्या फॉर्मूला है तो अगर माइक्रोस्कोप का बात करते हैं तो लिमिट ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल डी एंड इट इज गिवन बाय फॉर्मूला लैमडा अपॉन टू साइन थीटा एंड दिस इज फॉर नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन केप्ट इन एयर ओके अगर वो एयर में रखे हुए हैं तो ये फॉर्मूला हमारे को मिल जाएगा बिल्कुल बट इफ सपोज द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर सेल्फ ल्यूमिनस एंड केप्ट इन एयर देन अ फैक्टर ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू टू विल जस्ट अपियर अलॉन्ग विद दिस लैमडा हियर सो दिस डी विल एक्चुअली बीवल टू वन पॉइंट टू टू लैमडा अपॉन टू साइन थीटा this is going to be for self luminous objects kept in air okay and also uh, if suppose the objects are kept in any another medium but they are not self luminous again okay so let us consider the non non luminous objects and that kept in any medium okay medium of refractive index uh, n suppose to so medium ke andar agar rakhe hue hai wo to us case mein unka jo limit of resolution hai to it is given by the formula once again lambda upon 2 n sin theta where n stands for the refractive index of that medium in which they are placed actually and if we just talk about the self luminous objects sorry okay which are placed in any other medium other than air suppose like this then in that case again a factor of 1.22 will appear here in the numerator and also this n will appear in the denominator just because not air air nahi hai wahan pe dusra koi bhi medium hai to iski wajah se yahan pe aapko mil jayega 1.22 lambda upon 2 n sin theta as a final equation and once we get the limit of resolution uh, there is no uh, difficulty in finding the resolving power because we know that resolving power in a broad sense is always the reciprocal of limit of resolution so ye jo humko mila hua hai uska hi agar reciprocal kar denge to humko actually resolving power mil jayega jo ki yahan pe 2 sin theta upon lambda ke barabar rahega aur is case mein second wala jo case hai self luminous objects kept in air to resolving power will actually be 2 uh, sin theta once again upon 1.22 lambda and resolving power in this third case you can just say in case of non luminous objects kept in a medium will be 2 n sin theta which is there in the numerator that is to be divided by this lambda simply but if in the fourth case in which the luminous self luminous objects are kept in any medium then we can just get the resolving power to be simply 2 n sin theta 
and that is to be divided by 1.22 lambda. So you can just note here that whenever self-luminous objects appear, self-luminous objects are there, so 1.22 factor lag jata hai, dekho, 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 dekho. Even here, this may be, resolving power may be 1.22 lag jayega, jaha pe self-luminous objects are hai. Lekin, aur jaha pe medium aata hai. Toh medium jaha pe hai, jaha pe dono cases mein medium hai. Toh wahan pe ye jo hai, n aa jayega. Refractive index uska, us medium ka yaha pe aa jayega. n jis ko bol sakte hai. So that's why we can just understand this formally in this way. Yes. And the next is, for the telescope now. So telescope ke liye kya bol sakte hai? So telescope ke liye formal is jo hai. Abhi usme medium ko koi sawal nahi pata tha. Kyunki we cannot change the medium in, in case of telescope. Because we have to see in vacuum only. Because all the planets are kept in vacuum. So that's why you have no option. So therefore in case of the telescope, the resolving uh, limit of resolution is actually denoted by d theta. Which is going to be an angle which should be equal to this it should be equal to uh, and uh, in case of telescope the it should be actually uh, luminous self luminous objects hi hote hai telescope se jo hum observe karte hai to wo objects mostly self luminous hote hai jiske karan yahan pe humko mil jayega so 1.22 lambda upon capital D, where D is the okay, so this is D theta and resolving power of this same telescope can be written to be simply D upon 1.22 into lambda no doubt here mostly in case of this telescope the objects are or stars are always going to be self-luminous and that's why this 1.22 factor appears in this formula almost every time but if we suppose we are going to see the planet then we can just not have this 1.22 factor here and simply get this as lambda upon d as a limit of resolution and simply d upon lambda as a resolving power no problem so these are the two formulae you have to understand here in this case of telescope okay so telescope ke jo limit of resolution or resolving power ke jo formulae hai wo humko is tarah se samajhne hai yes and as we can just see acha ye aapko dikh raha hai textbook sabko Just put it in chat box. I am just doubtful. I have shared the board, share kiya tha, but the textbook is showing me. Check for a second. Yes, okay, so the whiteboard is showing. Tickets later. Uh, I will. I will share the screen or whole screen so that you can see the textbook also. Yes. I hope now you can see this textbook. Okay. So see here. Uh, in case of the double slit diffraction pattern, we have seen the radius criteria as well as here in the next page we already seen this yes for the telescope in general formula for the limit of resolution is lambda by a where a stands for the uh, diameter of that <coughs> lens or objective lens we can say so in this case the limit of resolution as we can see it here is lambda by a for a telescope which has to be equal to to, to distance joy distance kitna milega 
क्योंकि डी थीटा मतलब एंगल होता है तो एंगल को हम इस तरह से लिख सकते हैं द आर्क अपॉन रेडियस तो वो रेडियस अगर उस तरफ चला गया तो हमको मिलेगा डी लैमड़ा बाई ए नो डाउट और माइक्रोस्कोप के बारे में अगर बात की जाए तो उसका जो लिमिट ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन है उसके लिए हमने फॉर्मूला भी जो देखा तो वही हम देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे भी Yes, so this is the formula for limit of resolution of microscope. You can just check here. यही formula है वो जो कि two lambda upon two n sine alpha, which is for non-luminous bodies. Okay, ये non-luminous objects के लिए है जो खुद से light emit नहीं कर सकते हैं ऐसे objects के लिए ये formula बनता है. यहाँ पे ये n जो है n मतलब यहाँ पे refractive index है. जो कि वन uh, बन सकता है फॉर एयर अगर एयर में रखे हुए हैं तो वो वन बन जाएगा बट अगर एयर नहीं है तो इट विल बी एन तो ग्लास है या ऑयल है या वाटर है जो भी उसका है तो उसके हिसाब से उसका रिफ्रेक्टिव डेक्स यहाँ पे अपेयर करेगा और ये जो एन साइन अल्फा होता है ये एन साइन अल्फा इसको कभी कभी न्यूमेरिकल एपर्चर भी बोलते हैं ठीक है न्यूमेरिकल एपर्चर and that is sometimes directly given in the questions. So question के अंदर अगर वो direct दिया हुआ है, numerical aperture अगर आपको direct दिया हुआ है, तो उस case में आपको ये समझना होगा कि in that case we'll have to find out the uh, directly use it here in this formula. Okay. And then for the self-luminous bodies, as we have just seen, that is 1.22 factor appears in the formula, in the numerator, in the limit of resolution के formula में 1.22 ऊपर में आ जाता है. तो वो हमको समझना है ठीक है और सेल्फ जो सेल्फ ल्यूमिनस नहीं है तो उनके लिए वो नहीं आता है नॉन ल्यूमिनस के लिए नहीं आता है वो फॉर्मूला और वही अगर सपोज हमको रिजोल्विंग पावर चाहिए तो इट विल बी जस्ट रिसिप्रोकल ऑफ दिस लिमिट ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन विच विल एक्चुअली बी वन अपॉन ए विच इज गोइंग टू बी न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन इन टू लैमड़ा एक्चुअली यहाँ पे ये जो वन है और ये टू है इन दोनों को डिवाइड करके ही हमको वो जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन मिल रहा है जो हम कभी भी कर सकते हैं वैसा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है या जस्ट कीप इट इट्स इट इज ओके एंड देन वी कैन जस्ट मूव दिस फर्दर एंड गेट इट एज फॉर द टेलीस्कोप नाउ तो अगर टेलीस्कोप के बारे में बात करते हैं तो उस केस में भी हमको कोई फॉर्मूला मिलता है देखो so this is the 1.22 lambda upon d ये जो formula हमको मिल रहा है this is the formula for limit of resolution actually and this is going to be the formula for resolving power in general this 1.22 will always appear in case of the telescope just because in case of the telescope we we can observe the stars which are self luminous but if some in some case if we are observing some another objects which are not like stars just like planets then that 1.22 factor will not appear so we, in the numericals we have to be clear that whether the objects are self luminous or not if they are then use this factor 1.22 otherwise not necessary okay so this is all about the all the formulae from this chapter now just let us start with this numericals so let us see this first numerical From this, this thirteenth numerical. Just read it carefully. What uh, white light consists of wavelength from four hundred nanometer to seven hundred nanometer? What will be the wavelength range seen when white light is passed through glass of refractive index one point five five? ओके okay. तो देखो वेवलेंथ वेवलेंथ जो होता है तो वो हमको पता है कि वेवलेंथ इन एयर अपॉन रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ये फॉर्मूला होता है वेवलेंथ इन एयर के लिए क्योंकि रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इट सेल्फ इज गोइंग टू बी एक्चुअली लैमडा वन अपॉन लैमडा टू करेक्ट सो वी कैन जस्ट गेट दैट लैमडा टू दैट मीन्स द वेवलेंथ इन द मीडियम इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू बी देंथ इन एयर अपॉन रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स so if suppose the wavelength of light white light is between 
400 nanometer this is the minimum wavelength we can just say and this is the maximum wavelength 700 nanometer okay so what will be the wavelength range when seen when white light is passed through the glass of refractive index 1.55 so if we just pass this light through through glass whose refractive index is 1.55 then the new wavelength obtained here will be actually lambda 1 dash we can just say which will be actually this lambda 1 upon refractive index that is 1.55 here correct eh? and in the same way here lambda 2 dash will be actually equal to lambda 2 upon 1.55 that is refractive index so that means we have to just divide these refractive indices uh, these wavelengths by refractive indices only and we have to get the new range here so lambda 1 dash kitta milega that is the minimum wavelength will actually be one over 400 nanometer upon 1.55 how much it is so you can just get it as 258.06 and this another one will be obtained to be 451.61 nanometer no doubt you can just check using the calculator if you want Yes, 400 divided by 1.55. Comes out to be 258.06, correct? Eh? And in the same way here, this 700, which is divided by 1.55 again, happens to be 451.61. Once again, no doubt. Yes. Let us see the next question. The optical path difference Yes, just read this question carefully. The optical path of a ray of light of given wavelength traveling a distance of 3 cm in a flint glass having refractive index 1.6 is same as that on traveling a distance x cm through a medium having a refractive index of 1.25. Determine the value of x. Okay. So see here, so the situation is just simply like that. Suppose this is the first medium. And this is another medium. Yes, okay. So a ray of light travels in this first medium. Look, if suppose the ray of light jo hai, wo first medium can travel karta hai, or वो distance कितना है three centimeter distance है ये देखो ये यहाँ पे ये जो total distance है it is given to be actually three centimeter here so we can just mark this distance as three centimeter okay and the refractive index of this medium is actually going to be one point six here yes so one point six ये हो गया इस refractive index and optical path is going uh, in this medium is going to be same as the distance x 
through the another medium whose refractive index is 1.25 to ye suppose another medium hai jiska refractive index 1.25 hai aur uske andar wahi ray of light travel karta hai aur x dis itna distance travel karne ke baad uska path utna hi banta hai so suppose this distance is actually going to be x here to abhi optical path ka jo concept hai to wo humne uh, sikha tha what is an optical path it is the uh, distance traveled by the ray of light in air or vacuum which is equivalent to the distance traveled by the ray of light in the medium given particular medium to iska matlab abhi dekho yahan pe optical path ke liye humne formula bhi derive kiya tha agar dekhenge theek se to optical path jaise agar is medium ke andar 1.6 रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स वाले मीडियम के अंदर अगर तीन सेंटीमीटर डिस्टेंस इतना ट्रैवल करता है रे ऑफ लाइट तो उसको ऑप्टिकल पाथ कितना हो गया उसको हम बोलेंगे ऑप्टिकल पाथ वन फॉर द फर्स्ट रे विल एक्चुअली बी 1.6 पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू थ्री डेट इट तो ये हो गया उसका ऑप्टिकल पाथ दैट मीन्स इट विल बी एक्चुअली फोर सेंटीमीटर ओके बट इफ यू जस्ट ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द ऑप्टिकल पाथ ऑफ द सेकेंड रे ऑफ लाइट मतलब दूसरे मीडियम के अंदर जो ऑप्टिकल पाथ है वो कितना होगा तो सिंपली इट विल बी एक्चुअली वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इन टू एक्स द डिस्टेंस इज नॉट नोन बट वी ऑलरेडी सीन गिवन दैट दिस ऑप्टिकल पाथ ऑफ द रे ऑफ लाइट इन द फर्स्ट मीडियम इज गोइंग टू बी सेम एज द ऑप्टिकल पाथ ऑप्टेंड इन द सेकेंड मीडियम तो ये दोनों जो है वो इक्वल है ये यहाँ पे हमको दिया हुआ है और जब ये इक्वल है तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि वी कैन इक्वेट देम सो इफ यू जस्ट इक्वेट दिस टू देन वी कैन बी एबल टू गेट दिस 4.8 पॉइंट एट ऑन एल एच एस एंड हियर वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इन टू एक्स ऑन आर एच एस सो दैट एक्स कैन बी सिंपली रिटर्न टू बी इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट एट अपॉन वन पॉइंट टू फाइव यू शुड बी नोइंग अबाउट दिस वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव के बारे में एक बात पता होना चाहिए तुमको कि वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इन टू एट कितना होता है पता है वो होता है थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू एट होता है थाउजेंड तो वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू एट होगा टेन तो इसलिए इसको सिंप्लीफाई करने के लिए अगर हमने इस रेशो को अगर एट से मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड किया तो वो सिंप्लीफाई हो जाएगा सो यू कैन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर विल बी टेन इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड वी कैन जस्ट हैव एट एट जार सिक्सटी फोर Six carry and eight four zero thirty two plus six thirty eight here, which will be as it is and point one digit at the right uh, left side, so it will be thirty eight point four, which is to be divided by ten, which actually comes out to be three point eight four, and that is also in centimeter only, because all the distances are in going to be in centimeter. This is obtained to be the optical path traveled by the ray of light. in this second medium of refractive index 1.25 that's all let us see the next question that is this 15th question here yes in a double slit experiment arrangement produces interference fringes for sodium light whose wavelength is 589 nanometer that are 0.20 degrees apart what are the what is the angular fringe fringe separation if the entire arrangement is immersed in water whose refractive index is 1.33 ye humne already last time uh, formulas discuss karne ke time discuss kiya tha ki what happens if the whole interference pattern is just immersed in water so see what will happen here is suppose this is the interference pattern here this is the slit and this is the screen slit contains two holes here through which the two rays will pass so yeah the rays passing through these two holes will just interfere with each other and form the interference pattern here so ab yahan pe isme ek check karo theek se ki ye jo diya hua hai 0.20 
डिग्री ये क्या है एक्चुअली इट इज द एंगुलर फ्रिंज विथ और एंगुलर फ्रिंज सेपरेशन वी कैन से दैट मीन्स एंगुलर बैंड विथ हो गया वो विच इज एक्चुअली अब देखो यहाँ पे तुमको पता है ऑलरेडी की अल्टरनेट डार्क एंड ब्राइट बैंड आर फॉर्म ऑन द स्क्रीन राइट सो इसके बिल्कुल सीधा सामने जो है इसको यहाँ पे बिल्कुल सामने ब्राइट बैंड तैयार होता है और सेंट्रल ब्राइट बैंड उसको हम बोलते हैं उसके बाद फिर अल्टरनेट डार्क ब्राइट डार्क ब्राइट बैंड हमको मिलते हैं बिल्कुल तो ये सपोज फर्स्ट डार्क ब्राइट ये सपोज फर्स्ट सेंट्रल ब्राइट बैंड ही है ठीक है उसके बाद डार्क होगा उसके बाद ये फर्स्ट ब्राइट बैंड होगा एंड सो ऑन लाइक दैट इन दिस साइड आल्सो तो ये इस तरह से हमको इंटरफ्रेंस पैटर्न मिलता है यस नाउ व्हाट वी व्हाट इज द सेंट्रल सॉरी व्हाट इज द एंगुलर फ्रिंज विड सो उसका मतलब क्या हुआ देखो एक से इफ यू जस्ट join the corners of this central bright band with this point here then this angle here is actually called as the angular bandwidth ye jo angle banta hai ki nahi ye wala angle isko hum theta bol sakte hai so this theta is actually called as the angular bandwidth you can say theta which is actually if you just consider the geometry of this diagram then the, this whole distance is going to be actually capital d which is the distance between slit and screen and this distance is actually going to be x or we can say w that is the band width so in this case this theta can be supposed to be actually equal to w upon capital d here so remember this thing correctly so theta is actually going to be w upon capital d in this case and w ka formula kya hai to humko pata hai already what is the formula for w that is the bandwidth in case of interference bad pattern it is actually lambda into capital d upon small d so if we put this value of w here in this formula then we can just get this theta to be simply equal to to w ke badle yahan pe aa jayega lambda into capital d upon small d that, that is whole to be divided by capital d here so that this capital d actually gets get cancelled and what we are left with is theta is equal to lambda by small d so this is actually the going to the formula for theta that is the angular separation of band width or we can say angular fringe width okay which is given to be 0.2 degree when the wavelength of light used is 589 nanometer so we can just get that this theta is equal to lambda upon small d when this and this theta is given to be 0.2 degree and lambda is actually given to be 589 nanometer okay so ye lambda diya hua hai theta bhi diya hua hai theek hai but now if we just imagine that this whole interference pattern is just immersed in water ye pura jo interference pattern hai ye agar humne experiment jo hai wo pura ka pura agar humne carry out kiya dusre kisi medium ke andar just like water iska refractive index suppose diya hua hai ye dekho pura humne usko dubo diya water ke andar to uske andar ki us case mein kya hoga dekho dik se so you can just have that the refractive index will get changed and because of this refractive index the light which will enter here from these two holes will just <coughs> change the wavelength the wavelength yahan pe na change ho jayega so you can just say that when the whole arrangement is immersed in water to agar ye pura arrangement water mein immersed hota hai jiska refractive index alag hai to us case mein kya hoga ki lambda dash we can just say 
that will just get changed and lambda dash will actually be equal to lambda upon refractive index n and hence theta dash in that case to jo angular fringe width hoga us case mein wo humko milega new wavelength jo bhi hoga yahan se jo bhi waves niklenge unka jo bhi wavelength hoga lambda dash usko humko yahan pe d se divide karna padega simply that means we we'll have to dash have to do this lambda dash to be divided by this small d here and that will actually be the theta dash we can obtain here so this is theta dash so abhi yahan pe lambda dash to hum nikal sakte hain aaram se what is lambda dash it is actually going to be lambda which is 589 nanometer upon refractive index of water which is 1.33 here so this 1.33 is put here so ye jo bhi humko milega lambda dash we will have it hit here and we can just get this theta dash here so we can just obtain it in the next step okay but yahan se humko d nikal ke lena hoga small d kitna hai to wo nikalne ke liye humko kya karna padega dekho or just keep it as it is and uh, just we can just uh, have this as lambda upon n and that is to be put here in case of lambda dash so that this formula itself just get converted as lambda dash ke badle humne dal diya lambda upon n okay and that is to be divided by small d as it is and then we can just be able to get this as lambda upon n d which can also be written as 1 upon n times of lambda upon d correct hai but as we already seen that this lambda upon d is actually theta right which is already given there in this question so we can just express this as 1 upon n into theta that means finally we are going to getting that theta dash is actually going to be 1 upon n times of theta where theta is already given which is given to be 0.20 degree so we can just get that 1 upon 1.33 into 0.2 degree and that answer will also be in degree only yes but just don't forget that 1.33 can actually be written to be simply 4 by 3 right so if we just write it as 4 by 3 then we can just be able to get the reciprocal of this 1.33 as 3 by 4 and hence we can just get this 3 by 4 into 0.2 and get this finally simplified as a 4 ones are 4 and we can just get this 0 0.05 here And 0.05 multiplied by 3 comes out to be 0.15 actually. Okay, so 0.15 degree. This is actually going to be the final fringe width or angular fringe width in this case. So the angular fringe width after immersing the in whole interference pattern in the water will just get decreased by the factor n. And the one upon n times will be there. सिंपली ये बात क्योंकि हमको पता है कि x का या w का जो फॉर्मूला होता है वो w is going to be equal to lambda into capital D upon small d करेक्ट है दैट मींस w is proportional to lambda and lambda is depends on refractive index inversely lambda get reduces reduced by refractive index मतलब 1 upon n से वो मल्टीप्लाई हो जाता है n टाइम्स कम हो जाता है व्हेन व्हेन मीडियम चेंजेस so in that case this w also or this theta also will just change by the same factor yes let us go to the next question that is your 16th question here in the question textbook in a double slit experiment arrangement the slits are separated by a distance equal to 100 times of the wavelength of light passing through the slits okay 
then what will be the angular separation in radian between the central maximum and adjacent maximum okay what is the adjacent what is the distance between these maxima on the screen 50 cm away from the slits okay okay so they go in the double slit experiment the fringes see the slits are separated by the distance equal to 100 times of the wavelength of light what does it mean the distance between the slits which is denoted by small d here is going to be 100 times of the wavelength of light matlab lambda so small d is equal to 100 times of lambda this is the important information given here okay now we can just try to find out what is the angular separation in radian between the central maximum and the adjacent maximum okay matlab ab dekho fir se hum ye diagram draw karenge jo last is mein humne draw kiya tha already or just we can just copy it as it is from this no actually no alag diagram ko draw karna padega let us try to draw it once again suppose this is the interference pattern these are the fringes no, sorry these are the slits this is going to be the screen and we already know that uh, the center maxima will actually be produced just in front of the center of this slits in this way here yahan pe center maxima produce hoga <coughs> we can just show it by a red color here तो ये जो रेड कलर से हमको दिख रहा है वो एक्चुअली सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा है वी कैन से ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैक्सिमा सेकेंड मैक्सिमा इवन इन दिस साइड आल्सो यू कैन जस्ट नोट इट हियर इन दिस वे और जो बचा हुआ जो डिस्टेंस है दैट विल बी एक्चुअली द मिनिमा एंड दैट मिनिमा विल बी जस्ट शोन बाय दिस ब्लू कलर एरो फॉर ब्लू कलर पैच Like this, ये है हमारा मिनिमा ठीक है अब देखो वॉट दे वॉन्ट हियर इज वॉट इज द एंगुलर सेपरेशन इन रेडियन बिटवीन सेंट्रल मैक्सिम एंड द एडजेंट मैक्सिम मतलब क्या देखो ये सेंट्रल मैक्सिम का तो हमको एंगुलर पोजिशन यहाँ पे पता ही है ये यही डिस्टेंस होगा यहाँ पे ठीक है बट इसका एडजेसेंट मैक्सिमम कौन है एडजेसेंट मैक्सिमम का मतलब हुआ ये ये वाला ठीक है तो उसका एंगुलर सेपरेशन हमको चाहिए मतलब दैट मींस वी वांट टू जॉइन दिस पॉइंट विद दिस हियर ओके एंड वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट दिस एंगल थीटा हियर ये एंगल हमको ढूंढ के निकालना है हाउ कैन वी फाइंड आउट दिस एंगल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट दिस डिस्टेंस इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन यहाँ पे हम देख सकते हैं कि इसीलिए मैंने वो डायग्राम ड्रॉ कराया था याद है आपको इसमें ये जो इंटरफ्रेंस के अंदर क्या होता है दिस इज द सेंट्रल ब्राइट बैंड एंड द फर्स्ट ब्राइट बैंड इज एक्चुअली एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ डब्ल्यू फ्रॉम द सेंटर So, ये जो डिस्टेंस होता है ये एक्चुअली डब्ल्यू हुआ करता है और उसकी वजह से हम यहाँ पे थीटा निकाल सकते हैं आराम से तो देखो तो थीटा निकालने के लिए हमारे पास फॉर्मूला क्या बनेगा तो थीटा विल एक्चुअली इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू अपॉन कैपिटल डी बिकॉज थीटा एंगल इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू आर्क अपॉन रेडियस विच इज कैपिटल डी हियर इन दिस केस देर फोर वी कैन जस्ट गेट दिस एज आर्क अपॉन रेडियस दैट इज डब्ल्यू सॉरी थीटा सो अभी यहाँ पे थीटा हमको निकालना है तो लेकिन W का फॉर्मूला क्या है हमारे पास वो भी हमको पता होना जरूरी है W मतलब विद्थ बैंड विद्थ विच इज गोइंग टू बी एक्चुअली इक्वल टू लैमडा इन टू कैपिटल डी अपॉन स्मॉल डी करेक्ट है इफ यू जस्ट पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ W हियर देन यू कैन जस्ट बी एबल टू गेट दिस थीटा 
to be simply equal to capital W cover but the Ajaga lambda into capital D upon small d as it is, and that is to be divided by capital D here. And then here's this capital D which just get cancelled. And what will we'll left with is simply lambda by small d, correct? Right? So this angular separation will be there in the radian only because lambda and d are both are in meters. So therefore, we can just get this theta means the angular separation of the first bright band or angular separation between the central bright band and adjacent bright band will actually be equal to this only lambda by d only. And if we just put the value of d in this case here, so you have a denominator maker on the d value dal dal dia, to go milega lambda upon 100 lambda. Ye, ye jo hai, d ka value. So yeah, say lambda cancel ho jaga, go milega one upon 100, which actually happens to be 0 0.01. And that is going to be in radian only. Okay. But if we suppose given with this screen at a distance of 50 centimeter from the slits, that means capital D is actually given here. Capital D is going to be 50 centimeter. Then in that case, we can be able to find out the distance, distance between these maxima. That means a central maxima or first minima, but the first maxima. In the ki beach mega distance hai, to wo matlab hi w to hai. तो वो w हमको निकालना है तो उसके लिए हमको क्या करना होगा ये फार्मूला यूज करना होगा ये देखो ये वाला फार्मूला हमारे पास है सो इफ वी जस्ट हैव दिस w टू बी सिंपली इक्वल टू लैम्डा इनटू कैपिटल d अपॉन स्मॉल d तो अभी यहां पे लैम्डा अपॉन d जो है तो उसका वैल्यू तो हमको ऑलरेडी मिला हुआ है ये उसको थीटा भी डाल सकते हैं आराम से और थीटा का वैल्यू डायरेक्ट रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं इधर तो ये थीटा हो गया एंड थीटा मस्ट बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद d capital D here. So if we just multiply this theta with D, then this theta is going to be 0 0.01 and it should be multiplied with D, which is 50 centimeter. So that we can just get this as 0 0.01 into 50 matlab. Kitna Do digits point shift hoga left side mein. Matlab wo 0 0.5 aajayega. So here you can get this as 0 0.5 and that is also in centimeter just because this was already in centimeter okay so 0 0.5 centimeter this will actually be the distance between the central maxima and adjacent maxima which is already there in this option or answer okay should we do one more I'll just stop here. Okay, just try to do it on your own at home and just try. <coughs> if you have any doubt, we can just discuss in the next lecture on Monday or we can just do the next sums in the next time. Okay, so thank you all of you. We'll just stop here.